What's up YouTube? This is Print Practical. Today is an exciting episode. We're gonna break open this Bamboo Lab A1 and see what all the hype's about. So I picked up this bad boy during the Bamboo Lab anniversary sale. I think they were selling this for $349 or something. I actually had a ton of Maker World credits from uploading models on that site, so I actually got this for very, very, very cheap. Bamboo Lab A1. And it's got the PEI sheet here, and it is a gold one, very similar to what my P1S came with. I took a quick look at the quick start guide. It doesn't look super complicated, so let's get to the base of the printer. All right, here's the base. Just a nice thing to point out, they actually supply the Allen wrenches with the nice T-handles on them. That's a good little addition that they didn't do for my P1S. Okay, clearly marked, four screws need to come out to unlock the heat bed here. Of course I'm doing this in a super tight space here. Luckily this thing is pretty light. The base is a lot lighter than I expected. It's made out of plastic. Now it just wants you to cut a bunch of crap off here. So you cut all this. Okay. And oh, there we go. We have our base housing hardware marked with green circles. Push this bad boy in there and then you slide it up. Get a nice gentle click out of the USB-C. There is a pre-installed screw right here. And then uh, I'm not even gonna look at the directions, but I'm going to assume these get plugged in. Oh, looky here. This is the Z-axis wire taped to the bottom here. And they put a nice little section here to run that right up in there. And then to plug that in right there and close this up boom we're gonna install the purge wiper there's a hole in the back of this that you have to get the screw up into we'll see how much of a pain in the butt that is yeah not bad i did not buy an ams so i'm going to throw the external spool holder on they give you a long ptfe tube that you could go from this coupler here to one of the couplers on the print head. She's alive. Whoa, it's got speakers built into it. If you're watching this, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe. Also put a comment down below, what was your first 3D printer and what 3D printer do you currently use? I started with a Maker Select V2 from Monoprice, which was a very budget printer, like probably eight years ago or so. Um, and now I have gone through multiple enders, Bamboo P1S, and now this A1. So I'm sending this Benchy file over to the A1. One thing that I found interesting is that this has flow dynamic calibration and it's also got an annoyingly loud speaker. So I sent it over to the printer and we're gonna see how it goes. You can see the model on the screen there. I mean, I have to say, I wish they had this screen 
on the P1S. I have a Panda Touch here that I'm currently testing on the P1S, but man, this touchscreen is so nice compared to the stock Bamboo Lab P1S screen. Just flung a piece of poop at my P1S. This is quite interesting. The A1 seems to move its print head over to the filament cutter to take every picture of the time lapse, no matter if it's on traditional or smooth mode. The P1S, on the other hand, it actually takes the picture wherever the print head is in the print. It does not move the print head away unless you specify to use the smooth mode. I was just notified that my print is done. And these bamboo printers, man, they are incredible. They produce pretty much flawless prints right out of the box. No manual calibration needed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a few weeks and I can say initial impressions, this printer is pretty incredible. This printer is on sale on Bamboo's site for $339 and it just puts out incredible print quality right out of the box. The only thing I did was run the calibration that it asked me to when I started it up for the first time. I do have to say I've only been printing this blue PLA out of it so far and I'm gonna try a bunch of other materials over time and I'll probably put out a full review of this printer at some point, but just initially this thing is solid. I love my P1S, it's an incredible printer, but it is a little expensive. So if this is out of your budget or if you're new to 3D printing and you're not sure if you wanna to commit to it, this is the printer to go with. You just can't go wrong when you can pull it out of the box, assemble it in like 10 minutes. The assembly is dummy proof and it just prints perfect right out of the box. So that's gonna be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video or have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be doing a lot more cool stuff. And thanks for watching.